Ahmed Fawaimi, first son of the late Lega luminary and renowned human rights activist Chief Ghani Fawaimi, has decried the attempt by the Nigerian government to rehabilitate the Port Harcourt refinery with $1.5 billion. Mohammed, in a statement on Tuesday, said the amount to be expended on the dead Port Harcourt refinery can build six brand new separate ultra modern ones in different locations within the country. The Federal Executive Council at last Wednesday approved $1.5 billion for the rehabilitation of the refinery in Port Harcourt. The approval has expectedly been greeted with mixed feelings as the country has in the past spent billions of dollars on refinery maintenance. Despite such expenditure, however, the refineries have not worked with many experts calling for their privatization. According to Mohammed, at least rates at the rate of $250 million each, Nigeria will have six brand new refineries which can be built in a record of record time of nine months simultaneously. He said, after so many years of squandering the nation's wealth on frivolous frivolities, frivolities and being looted by known principal actors of previous successive governments, I believe it is time the current federal government of Nigeria applies wisdom in reviving the Nigeria economy. The $1.5 billion to be expended on the dead Portacourt refinery can build six brand new separate ultra modern refineries in separate locations in Nigeria where there are abundance of oil wells, namely Bayesa State, Ondo State, Aqua Ebon State, Delta State, Imo State, and River State. At the rate of $250 million each, Nigeria will have six brand new refineries which can be built in a record of nine months simultaneously. This will go a long way to reduce the price of petroleum products, namely petrol, kerosene, diesel, and jet AI fluid, engine oil, and other lubricants. It would create employment for the vast amounts of unemployed youth wanting to flee the country in search of greener pastures. The market forces would create healthy competition in the industry. The days of scarcity of fuel of petroleum products would be over. The Nigeria economy would bounce back vibrantly in the shortest possible time. The federal government will be able to generate vast amounts of revenue. The president who doubles as the minister of petroleum and the current minister of state for petroleum will do the country best if they are to follow this advice let us stop the wastages <laughs> the question is that i don't even know just like uh, i can remember the statement made by whether is it's a uh, ruben abati is this uh, was a uh, former spokesperson of a uh, good luck jonathan whether spokesperson or whatever but i know he works with a uh, jonathan he was a spokesperson he said there is a evil spirit in Asu Rock or in all those uh, government houses. And some of the one of the governors said it sometime two years ago that uh, evil house, evil spirit in government house. The reason why I'm trying to refer to what he said is that when people who are not in government, they will be proffering solutions. And okay, of course, if you say maybe those who are not in government, they are giving this kind of advice. But when they are in government, they lose their senses. They begin to see things differently. And people will begin to ask, are these people operating, you know, in a in an occultic manner? Are they in court that what is supposed to be transparent to everybody, it's not going to be something hidden. And they will be telling you it is not possible, it is not possible. Because some people have agenda. If really those who are calling, who are saying one Nigeria, one Nigeria, if really they believe in one Nigeria, like I've always said, that there are things that you need to do by default. Those who are, nobody will even remember. Nobody will remember of talking about uh, who is the president, who, where is the president coming from. In as much all of us, even the so-called uh, politicians who always run abroad, any little thing, you are running abroad for treatment for your school, your children's school, whatever. But you don't even care that uh, maybe you are being marginalized or that you are going to another person's uh, country to go and get uh, treated, to go and get education. No, you don't talk about marginalization. And people who are in Nigeria, we don't, they don't even talk about, uh, oh, who is coming from here? All of you want to go to UK, you want to go to US. Because you don't, you don't even bother who is even leading there. Because you know things are working well. So those of you who are championing, clamoring for one Nigeria, these are the things that you need to do. And things will be okay. Do you know that even in all those uh, developed countries, there are no free lunches. 
you pay for everything but people who are doing all those things you pay your taxes and they see what they are doing with their money they see what they are doing with their money but what do we have here it's a different thing they collect taxes they collect this and this and that and you can't see anything the more you develop the country the more people pay more money the more people the more we see a lot of things nigerians are ready to pay but unfortunately the, the money you know are in the hands of few why is it that they don't have a decent if they know that what this man is giving the advice is giving to them is not right let them come out and debunk it because a lot of people have been shouting about this uh, 1.5 billion dollars that it can do this it can do that but like i said i don't know what is there that they don't want if you know that that things that the masses do, do not know be transparent let them know so that they will you, you know they will stop blaming you but of course you cannot even let them know because you know that you know what you are doing if according to what the the the, the this man is talking about it can build new modern refineries do you know how much you have been spending that refinery every now and then spend 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 spend, spend. nothing Dwari is even there oh. is even in charge oh. no hope my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness well see who is talking it was part of the defunct save nigeria group led by pastor tunde bakari and professor wale Shoginka. they were very vocal and led the protesters at ojota against good luck jonathan's government 2023 is close it's close it wants to be relevant again the great power emi did not leave this wisdom behind sad as prudent as aliko dangote is its refinery gulped uh, 19 billion dollars go and borrow sense the criminals don't know how to negotiate with it when it comes to national matter if them give person work for their personal house of business they will owe you see forever and price you cheap the amount can't build half refinery sentiment apart go online and get the details on the cost of refinery my problem is the money budgeted for the revolution will be embezzled okay so what do we they do the view that you are saying is going to be embezzled and the one that said oh, it's going to build this and this and that so what is not the solution is it not the same problem we're going to be encountering barista don't disturb your brain the said amount is for preparation towards general election of 2023 also is a way of siphoning our resources government should just provide guns for students to protect themselves since governments cannot protect them the kidnappers are not playing i think this matter needs national debates we love to tell ourselves lies let those that want to benefit from repairing an old refinery at the cost of six new ones go ahead history we judge them his name is mohammed which means is from the north on that case he wouldn't want southeast refinery to work though we are not begging them we don't even need that now all we want is biafra see they don't want to share the people uh dollar people don't uh, know the reason why the young younger generations are angry we have witnessed the height of inhumanity insecurity um insincerity uh, perpetrated by our dubious leaders for long nobody cares anymore they keep stealing and stealing and stealing never tired of stealing and when you look at them they are looking they are looking tattered pick any of them that is looking fresh they are all looking tattered and haggard with all the things that they see look at them so guys let's say your opinion concerning what a uh, gadifa son has said whether you agree to what he said or not let us know